Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I drew this picture here of myself with a digital illustration program. The program I'm using is Affinity Designer, but anything that has, you know, realistic brushes available and the ability to create multiple layers should work for you. The first thing you obviously want to do is find a, find some portrait that you're, you're going to uh, draw and it's also useful to have like a picture of some some paper so this came with uh, I think this one came with with the program or or some brush pack that I, I added on to the program later uh, so you put those sort of assets into your canvas and then you're gonna lock them and initially I find it useful not to have the paper visible just because there's extra sort of texture there that is gets in the way. So the first thing that you're going to do is trace over the outline of your subject. So you find the sort of the the brush that you want to use, the pen or the the ink or whatever. So I I, I like to use something that resembles ink. So I'll find the the sort of the one I, the one I, the one I want to use, something that's not, not too clean but also a little bit messy so the style that I'm kind of going for here is a bit messy because uh, yeah to be honest this is the only the, the fourth portrait that, I, that I've ever ever drawn so if you have any advice for me then put those in in the comments so if I've said anything or done something really foolish then I'd be happy to to know how to improve so in the meantime, I'm going to choose things that look messy because that sort of <laughs> helps in in my with my lack of ability to actually do some some good sketches here. So I just outline the subject and identify all of the dark areas first, and then I'll get rid of get rid of the the subject to do the actual painting. So if you know if you're not great at drawing faces, then this is extremely helpful and useful too. Also, you probably get a better sort of um, yeah depiction of of your subject if you have all of the facial features in, in the right spot. So I'll trace kind of the the face and where where the the facial features are, but also identify where really the dark spots are because that will help with the shading. So I'll do a really clean outline and then we'll come back and we'll talk about, about the shading. For, for now I'll, I'll speed things up and you can enjoy the show. So the outline's done, now we're going to do the, the shading, so I'll get something that looks like watercolor and just start shading in, pick any color you choose, uh, I'm going to choose like a bluish gray um, since I'm not sure what uh, some, some bright colors are going to look like and uh, I don't want to undo a whole bunch of stuff for you in, in this sort of one take video, so we'll go with something easy gray what I do again please if this is a bad idea let me know so what I do is I do like the middle tone first and then I alternate between doing the darker and the highlights and I do this sort of at the same time as I fill in some of the the details of where I want more thick ink strokes so again I'll, I'll speed things up and you'll see me jumping back and forth between putting in shadows and putting in highlights and going from black ink to white ink to really emphasize where the shadows and highlights are.
Cool, so I I put some white, really like bright white behind the eyes and then also like the little reflection on the front of the eyes. That's gonna stay on top always. The white will, won't be touched behind the eyes. Now I'm gonna color in the iris. So I'll make that really colorful, really to focus on the eyes. So just like, you know, photo editing programs manipulate the eyes because that's what people are attracted to when they see um, a picture of a person, you wanna put in some extra detail. And even though I made a really messy sort of picture at the end, uh, I kept that part of the picture clean and detailed uh, and somewhat realistic, so really to focus in on that. And, and the same with, in this case, the subject happens to be myself, uh, is smiling, so you know, keep that part nice and, and clean. So I'm coloring eyes with th three different colors, and then what I'll do is start to work on the background. Again, if you have a better suggestion for how to do this, I'm all ears. Right now, uh, I'm going to select uh, the background so that I don't m I don't blend the bright black background color with the sort of dull color of the of the portrait. So select the the part of the image that I that I've drawn on, and then we'll invert it and draw in the background. So let's speed that up. now we're pretty much done but in order to really make it kind of pop we're going to just put in lots of extra sort of messy details like ink splatters and, and, and shaky lines all over the place and some extra maybe things that look like ink splatters or little um, printing errors maybe some drips that sort of thing just throw that all over the image trying not to go over too much of the parts that you want to keep f focus on. So, you know, to put ink splatters over the eyes or the teeth or something like that. But, you know, around the outside, yeah, it seems to uh, produce a, a nice final image. So let's speed up throwing in all of those extra shaky details. All right, that's it. So if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. I hope that this was helpful and you can go in and draw some of your own portraits. Thanks for watching. <laughs>